Oh great, you again. I suppose you're here to learn some more stuff. Well, since I'm standing next to a rail car, you know that a lot of scrap recyclers ship their products by rail car. It's a lot more efficient for big loads than shipping by truck, and many of the steel mills prefer rail car loads. In the past, the railroads complained that sometimes scrap metal falls out of the car while it's being hauled, causing property damage, derailments, and even injuries to employees. So the rail operators started rejecting shipments that are overloaded or improperly loaded. This means they're requiring us to load the cars differently. And that's why I'm here. We used to be able to load scrap into these open top rail cars, or gondolas as they're sometimes called, with a mound in the middle up to 18 inches above the side of the cars. But not anymore. At the end of 2008, the Association of American Railroads changed the loading rules for scrap metal. Now, we can't load any loose scrap above the top of the open cars, period. The scrap has to be level with the top of the car, with nothing hanging over the sides. I don't want to see any scrap muffin tops. Oh, and loose scrap that's real lightweight has to be covered to prevent it from flying out during transport. If your company has the ability to bale scrap metal, feel free to put these bales on top of the loose scrap. That's the only time you can exceed the height of the rail car, but only up to one half the height of a bale. The bales have to completely cover the loose scrap. You can use netting, a cover, or some other means of containment on top of the light loose stuff. Any way you slice it, you have to make sure nothing's going to fly out during transit. No metal missiles. Those rail cars can vibrate a lot while moving, and scrap can even be sucked out. Sometimes the switching crews will hump the cars too, and even that can dislodge stuff. So here's the bottom line. Load the cars properly or expect to have them returned to you like my childhood letters to Santa. The cars might get pulled out of your scrap yard, but believe me, they can come back to haunt you a few days later. Or your company will get stuck with a huge bill to reload the thing. You don't want that to happen. If you got any questions, your supervisor should have a copy of the new rules. Or if you need to get a copy, shoot me an email, dave at isri.org. I'm not kidding! I actually have my own email address. <laughs> Next comes paid vacations. No? <laughs> Other than that, are we straight? Don't be responsible for an accident or injury because of an overloaded rail car. So remember, you need to load those rail cars safely, or not at all. <laughs>